Hello and welcome to the channel that covers everything where health and technology meet. Today, a quick and dirty video about something I get asked about a fair amount. And that's what happens if you cancel or pause your iFit membership on one of the products that iFit is on. And I have the ProForm and the Noter Track behind me and I've tested both these and got the same results. But that brings me to my first point before we actually talk about what happens. And that's iFit is on a lot of products. And I got the same experience between these two. So I'm assuming pretty much anything you cancel on, you're gonna get the same experience. But there's rowers, there's treadmills, there's other stuff, and I haven't been able to test everything, so I'm working on assumption, and I wanna make sure I'm clear on that with you. Second, why might you pause or cancel? Well, some people just have a concern that if you're looking to buy one of these products, what happens if iFit ever went away? What would the experience likely be? So we'll cover that. But second, maybe there's just certain times of the year where you want to get outside and enjoy it and you're not going to be putting the time in this and you prefer to save your money. Well, what happens then? What experience do you get if you just come and do a ride or two here and there? So let's go ahead and jump in and I'll show you exactly what I found. So I'm here in front of the ProForm Studio Pro 22, but I also have the Nortrack S22i right there. I tested on both and got the same results. And again, like we already talked about, I'm assuming this pretty much is the case for most of their products, but I don't know for sure. But in this case, when you log in, the UI, user interface, basically looks the same. And you can go through all the same screens. But when you try to click on most functionality and actually do that exercise, you're gonna get a message that says, resume your membership for full access, meaning it's just locked. You can still see it. You can kind of get a teaser knowing what's out there or at least take a look around, but you're not gonna be able to do most things. Now, one area of confusion I did notice is that if the map your own route functionality still works, and I think the reason there's confusion is because you can still map your own route. You can still select it, go and save a route, and come up and give it a custom name, and you have that there. But once you go to use it, it gives you that same message saying it's locked out, pay to go ahead and use that. So the functionality creates there, but not to actually do the ride. So what do you get? Well, basically you have two things. You still have the calendar view. So you're able to see what your history is, what rides you've done and go into those and see some of those metrics that are in that screen. The other thing you can do is do the manual rides. So in the upper right hand corner, you have a manual start button. And when you click that, it loads a screen of the track and some basic functionality. You'll still see stats, so you'll be able to see speed, calories burned, time elapsed, and a lot of those screens, as you see on the screen right now, you can flip those over and get other stats. You still have the ability to change resistance and incline decline if that functionality is part of the product that you're on. So you can still get a ride out of it. It's very basic functionality, but you're still gonna be able to do everything the bike provides. You basically just lose all content. And if you're wondering if manual rides are still tracked in the history or the calendar view, I did a quick test ride of one minute and it did show up there. I was able to see my stats. So that appears to still work. and You still get that functionality. So the short version is you still get the manual ride mode, which does have the ride functionality. And then you have the ability to go into the calendar view and see your ride history, which does include rides when you were a paying member, as well as the manual rides you've done. If that does help you out, hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. Subscribe to stay on top of everything where health and technology meet. And until next time, Here's to a healthier you.